Highlights of some amazing moments from afternoon action, uh, if this would be the case on this day, and certainly plenty of games going on tonight. But if you've been following along in the NHL today, a really scary moment uh, within the last hour, really, happening in Buffalo as the Florida Panthers were taking on the Sabres. And, Gary, it's already raising the question over and over how, how this doesn't happen more often. We are so thankful that it doesn't. But before we roll the footage, we do want to warn our viewers that it could be disturbing for some of you, so please bear that in mind as we take a look at a very scary incident involving Richard Zednick of the Florida Panthers. 4-3 for the Buffalo Sabres at the time. Ole Jokinen ends up going into the boards, taking out his man, but his skate ended up flying up into the air and catching his teammate and linemate, Richard Zednick, right in the throat. And as you can see, Richard Zednick then was of the ability to immediately get up and start skating towards the bench. And at that point in time, the trainer then immediately realized that he was in big trouble simply because of the, the gushing blood that had uh, occurred so quickly when that skate ended up hitting Richard Zednick's throat. And as a result, I mean, everybody from both teams immediately knew that Richard Zednick was in trouble. And uh, from the coaches uh, from both hockey clubs, they were waving for assistance. And, uh, and assistance did come. And that's the good news, was the fact that uh, Richard Zednick was in the best of hands immediately, not only just from the Florida Panthers trainer, uh, but also from the medical staff there at the HSBC Center in mm -hmm. Buffalo. Well, and certainly uh, it, uh, the delay that uh, happened after that lasted about 15 minutes, and everyone was wondering not about the game. It was about what's happening with Richard Zednick, and they were able to get reports out rather quickly, I thought, that Zednick's condition had been stabilized and that he was en route to a Buffalo hospital. But, Gary, when you're in this situation, uh, and I, I don't think you've ever been in it exactly quite like this, but uh, the, the things that go on in the arena, I mean, again, I think the surprise of it is that an arena with 20,000 people almost can be that silent. It was absolutely silent in that building, and you knew exactly what people were thinking. They were thinking, they were hoping, they were praying uh, that Richard Zednick would be all right. You see then Darcy Regeer, the general manager of the Buffalo Sabres on the left, he's get, getting a phone call there. Colin Campbell, the senior vice president of hockey operations for the National Hockey League, was there at that game today. I had spoke to Colin just this morning, knew that he was going to the game in Florida uh, because he was there to watch his son Gregory, yeah. uh, who plays for the Florida Panthers. And so the question at that point in time that they were discussing no doubt was whether the game should be continued. And you could see the fans rise up as one when they made the announcement that Zednik was stabilized and was en route to hospital. And, then, and shortly after that, they opted to proceed with the game. But the game is still, at this point, very secondary in our minds. And Steve Goldstein and Denny Potvin on FSN Florida were able to speak with Jacques Martin after the game was done. Obviously, Jacques, uh, you know, you've been in this game for a long time. You've seen a lot of injuries and things like that on the ice, but uh, that goes well beyond an injury. It's obviously could have been a life-threatening situation. What were you thinking as uh, Zednik glides over to the bench? Well, just uh, the fact that he had the, the sense to, to, to come over the bench so didn't waste any time, probably allowed our trainer to, you know, to give him attention. And then uh, I thought the uh, medical team here in Buffalo was uh, was quick to react and as soon as he got into the, the dressing room, I think uh, they were able to stabilize him and, uh, you know, stop the bleeding, which was uh, probably crucial. I don't know if you're watching it now, uh, Jacques, but uh, here is uh, how it happened. There, there you see the, uh, the skate of Jokinen coming up. Obviously, he taking a hit. Zednik coming right into it. Yeah, it's, uh, I mean, it's a scary uh, moment. I think that... Uh, you know, you never wish to to see, and uh, you know, I think uh, I guess hopefully he'll be all right. I think the fact that uh, the word that we got was that he he's stable at this point in time, and hopefully he's in good care with the doctor in the hospital here.